Hey Trophy Club residents, Brian Peters again with the Trophy Club Fire Department. You know there's nothing better than the sound and the feel of the fire in the fireplace on a cold winter day. That's why we're going to talk about the proper care maintenance of your fireplace. It's important that before you start a fire that you make sure that the flue is in the open position. Also, once a year you want to call your local chimney sweep company to come out and do an inspection of your fireplace. Uh, they'll be making sure of things like there's no cracks in the brick or the mortar. Uh, they'll check to make sure that um, there's no soot buildup. A lot of the fires that we run on, on chimney fires, uh, is because of an accumulation of soot inside of the flue. And they'll make sure that they clean and sweep those as needed. Now with gas fireplaces like this one, one of the things that is more of a risk is carbon monoxide. So with that being said, we're going to uh, bring engineer Sean Garrett in to talk about carbon monoxide detectors. Sean? Thank you, Brian. This is a carbon monoxide detector you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. It does plug into the wall and it sits low to the ground due to the carbon monoxide being heavier than air. It does have battery backup in case the power goes out and you can have continuous monitoring. You need to have a carbon monoxide detector around a gas fireplace, around your kitchen area, or upstairs close to the bedrooms where the heaters are. So this way, if there is carbon monoxide late, it can alert your, it can wake you up if you're asleep. Very important to have one of these. Brian? All right, thanks, Sean. All right, so I hope that's useful information for you. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this we've talked about today, please feel free to give, the, give us a call at the fire station or, or stop by the fire station. We'll be glad to answer those for you. Uh, hope, uh, hope to see you again next month. Uh, thanks for tuning in.